Hi guys, welcome back to Beauty Bootcamp. It is day three and things are starting to get really interesting because today it's the first of the makeup challenges. Hi guys, lovely to see you all today. I hope you're well rested. Um, today we've got a makeup challenge for you. So guys, in Sam's hands are five cards, each with a different look on that you guys are going to recreate on yourself and then you're going to accessorise. To help us judge this, we've got extra help from a brilliant fashion blogger called Jess from Sunbeams Jess. Come Morning, on in, Jess. Hi everyone. Hi. So as well as the makeup look that you're doing on yourself, you're going to have to create the perfect thumbnail image to go with it. And I'm going to have a whole load of accessories to help you guys do that. Right. Rosie, can I ask you to come up and take a card, please? Don't look at it. Alini? Rapinda? Poppy? And Ava. Okay, first up, Rosie, what look did you get? I have evening glam. <gasps> That's exciting. Any ideas of what you're going to do? Um, probably a dark lip or a smoky eye. Oh, or both. Rapinda, what did you get? I got day date. Day date? Ooh, interesting. Any that's ideas? Nice. I think that's quite a difficult one because for the evening you can go all out, so for the day I might need to mute it down a little bit. Jess? I think you could maybe jazz it up a little bit with accessories and add a little bit of personality, but yeah, like you said, you probably want to keep a little bit more neutral for the daytime. Ava, what did you get? Um, ooh, beach. Ooh. ooh. I think I'm going to go quite natural. So, an SPF foundation and very natural. Another good yeah. beach look. Hard though. Eleni, you're next. What did you get? I got festival. Awesome. I'm excited for this one because you can do so much with it and it can be really fun and creative with your makeup. So, I already have some ideas in my head. And Poppy, what did you get? I got wedding guest. Ooh. Um, I think this one can be quite hard because you can choose, I guess, between day and night, so is it a day wedding or a night wedding, but you don't want to be trying to overshadow the bride, so you want it natural. Definitely. Brilliant. Right, guys, you have one hour to create your looks. I'm so excited to see what they do. Ava, Ava, tell me what you're doing. I think I'm going to go for a sort of a corally look. Because Beach of, look, isn't it yours? Yeah. One of my favourite um, eyeshadows is Paradisco by MAC. Ooh, lovely with your eye colour so, as well. So pretty. And one of my favourite lipsticks is Costa Chic by MAC. Oh, lovely. So I'm going to go for really colourful, And light. these are your accessories? Yep. I think yep. I'm a little bit in love with this now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put all of your accessories on. <laughs> Look, I've left my little ears poking out and everything. <laughs> I've put quite exciting. a light foundation on, um, the NARS Sheer Glow, so I get a nice glow, but it's got this DF in it and stuff like that, so I'm pretty happy with what I'm doing. Fantastic. Right. I'll leave you to crack on. Thank you. So guys, you have got half an hour left. How are you getting on, Lily? I'm good. I have so many ideas in my head that I'm just trying... You're going to put all of those ideas on your face? I don't know. I was thinking of maybe doing some like stars at the end of my eyebrows. Pretty. I'm just trying to think back on pictures I've seen from people going at festivals. And I also really like the blue eyeliner because I've seen it a lot in pictures from Fashion Week. Yeah. So I suppose trying to be trendy, fun and a bit creative. Exciting. What um, accessories have you got? I actually have... Oh, of course, the, the festival flower. must have. Yeah, I think cute. it's just so cute. And these are my favourite flowers. I just hope it's not too much. Mm, I'm sure it would be fantastic. Awesome, good luck. Thank you. OK, Rosie, what are you up to, my darling? Uh, I'm just doing my eyeliner. What is your look? I can't remember. Um, evening glamour. Evening glamour, it's because you're just... That is pretty amazing liner. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. What accessories are you going for? Um, I'm using a necklace. I was quite inspired. I really like um, Ellie Golding's makeup at the moment. She uses really pinky tones. Yeah. Um, on her eyes, so I went for Lovely. it. Lovely. I look forward to seeing it at the end. Good luck. So, Poppy, 15 minutes to go. Yeah. 
I'm not far off, I don't think. So. Yeah? Yeah. It looks very pretty. Yeah, because I've got a um, wedding guest, I thought I'd go with something quite dewy, quite light, um, but try not, I've tried to put products in with very low SPF so and quite a good amount of powder so that if there is flash photography, then, you know, it's not going to flash back oh, on cool. camera. Lovely. So you'll definitely be done, won't you? I think so, yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. So, Pinda, how are you getting on? Hi, I'm getting on good, thank you. I think I'm almost finished. I'm just touching up the mascara and then probably um, just touch up the lips and then I think I'm all done. Good, yeah, well, you've only got a few minutes left. Yes. And you've so. had your accessory in the whole time, which I think actually yeah. helps as well. You kind of get an idea of the whole look. You thank look very you. romantic and girly. Oh, thank you. Okay guys, your time is up, time to put your brushes down. It's also time for you to all go off and get your poses out and take your perfect thumbnail photo. I'm dying to see these thumbnails, should we have a little look? Yeah. Okay, so Poppy first. I really like the way the shot is placed, actually. It's kind of, it's quite interesting, and I would probably click on that video. Yeah. Actually, her makeup look was stunning. Yeah. It was so well applied, really beautifully blended. I loved the colours she chose. And although it wasn't that out there, she was quite limited with the brief anyway, wasn't she? OK, next we've got Alini. And this is her festival look. I love this one now. Yeah, it's great. It's very festival. And it's fun as well, you'd want to click on it, I think. Definitely. Yes, yeah, she looks happy and bubbly. She looks good. Her makeup was very nice. I thought she probably could have been a little bit more, a little bit braver with the brief. You know, because it's festival, anything goes really. Yeah, definitely. I like the little delicate stars she put in, but I probably, I don't know, she could have done anything. Maybe yeah. a bit of glitter or yeah, something, absolutely. a bit more colour. Definitely. But it's a very nice look, and definitely from that thumbnail, I'd click on it. Yeah. Rapinda. It's nice. I actually really like that kind of delicate hand-in shot as well. That's really pretty. And also, she, she put her accessory on quite early, which I think was good, because that made sure that she could work it in with her look and make sure that it all fit together really mm. nicely. She kind of got in character. Yeah. Rosie. Oh, isn't she gorgeous? I love that backdrop. Rosie's kind of got my more of my personal style. Yeah. I love a dark lip, um, but does it say glam um, enough? I'm not sure. She could have gone more, I think. Yeah, it doesn't really say evening glam to me, but it's lovely. And her know? makeup was stunning. Yeah, yeah, I think her makeup was amazing. Her application skill was amazing. And the one thing that really stood out to me was she wasn't doing her makeup for her. She said to me, oh, I'm doing this because I really like Ellie Golding. So it was yeah. already she was someone else. Whereas I think everyone else stayed in, this is a makeup that suits me. Oh, I, I like to wear. do this. Yep. And on YouTube, you can't really do a look that is just for you because it has to, you have to be versatile and do so other things. So she was thinking about her audience. Exactly. And I thought that was really, really good. Mm. And finally, Ava. That's a, that's a really fun thumbnail. It definitely is. I think it's good. My only reserve would be that the brows were so heavy for a, a you know, a summer, summery, beachy look. You know, not that there's anything wrong with having heavy brows, but I thought for that specific look, I would have steered away from my I like yes, I like yes, heavy brows. You're absolutely right. Because if you if you put that in a video, you'd have so many negative comments about how heavy the brows are for yeah. a beachy look. And like we said about Rosie, she didn't do something for her. Whereas Ava did her brows because that's how she likes her brows. So maybe yeah. when it comes to a beach look, she should have gone slightly lighter. What yeah. do you think about her accessories? Um, I definitely like the hat. I think it works and it's fun. Um, I'm not so sure about the sunglasses, but again, that could be a personal style issue. Okay. But then again, the thumbnail for the thumbnail, it works really nicely. Um, and she didn't put them on, so we don't cover up any of the makeup exactly. or anything like that. OK, we've got some serious thinking to do now. What would be your gut instinct of your favourite? So I think she probably did the best in terms of the thumbnail, the brief, and it, the thumbnail looks really great. Awesome. Your views then? I'm going to go for that one, strangely. Really? Because my favourite is that, but I don't love the thumbnail. I don't think it sells it. Yeah. I'm between, in between both of you. Welcome back, guys. We have been deliberating and... We think you all did amazing with the time and accessories you were given and we loved all of your thumbnails. 
Okay, well done, everybody. Um, we want to thank you so much for coming in and being our judge. You've really helped us. And now we've just got to give you the result. So good luck, guys. Thanks, Jess. Bye, Jess. Okay, so for the first time in beauty boot camp history, we couldn't decide. We, couldn't decide. we just couldn't decide. So we've got a draw. It was really difficult to judge because we had to take ourselves outside of makeup and more onto the thumbnail but obviously the makeup was important as well and then thinking about how you incorporated the accessories and how you put the whole look together. So our winners are Poppy and Rapinda. Well done guys! Winning the challenge was absolutely incredible. I wasn't expecting it at all and I feel like my confidence is growing little by little every day. I was kind of speechless, but yeah, I'm really, really happy I won that challenge. I'm absolutely over the moon. Well Guys, done. your brief was really, really hard. It's really hard to make that kind of look your own. And we thought that you did. Definitely when we looked at the thumbnails, they just said those looks to us. Well done today, guys. You've all been brilliant. But tomorrow, you need to bring your A game and you also need to bring your overnight bags because two of you will be going home. So tomorrow five become three. We don't want to lose any of them. Don't forget to leave your comments and who you think is going to win and who you think deserve to win today. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Take care, bye. Today we're going to lose two of you. We've actually had to get in some guest judges. Today you're going to go off and do interviews with them and then we're going to be taking their comments on board. The first person to go home. Okay, so um, first of all, uh, what kind of finish do you like on the skin? Would you like it matte or do you like kind of a dewy finish? Um, I rarely wear foundation, so I'm not too sure. Um, one I would suggest is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. 